If you're thinking, I should go for a run today, but it looks like it could rain, Sierra says save on epic rain jackets. If you're also thinking, but I can't go out in these beat up old running shoes, Sierra says save on top brand running shoes. And if you're still thinking, but I'm also busy performing brain surgery, well then we say, you really should have led with that. Sierra, let's get moving to your local store, like now. Go! Sergeant and Mrs. Smith, you are going to love this house. Is that a tub in the kitchen? There's no field manual for finding the right home. But when you do, USAA Homeowners Insurance can help protect it the right way. Restrictions apply. Hey there, Vault Dwellers. Follow us as we take a topic from the Fallout universe and discuss it in a group of diverse individuals. We are the Fallout Roundtable. Join us, the conversation has already started. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, welcome to another episode of the Fallout Roundtable. In case you didn't hear, I just burped because I'm eating. Well, that's one for the blooper reel. <laughs> one for the blooper reel. There we go. Uh, I am your host, Maverick Stone, as always. With me, with me, a sassy lady. We're going to talk. We we already started talking about this topic before we started recording, and then I'm like, let's hit the record button. Yeah, we always do that. All our good materials. All of our good it. material. This goes. We we always forget to hit the record button, and then we hit record, and then we're all like, crickets. <laughs> You're like, what were we talking about? Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> but before we get started into into that into that discussion again, how about you rate, review, and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you could see me burp. <laughs> On screen, color <laughs> in 4K <laughs> on our YouTube channel, The Fallout Roundtable. Right, you should have seen the look on his face when he did it. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, I couldn't hold it back." But and then we have we have a Twitter at Fallout RTB. You can send us send us something over there, uh, and then we you can email us at falloutrtb at gmail well, anyway, also before we get started, we I'd like to announce something very quickly. Uh, for all those basketball fans, there's this big tournament in March called March Madness, and we're going to start something similar on the Fallout Roundtable podcast series show. Mm-hmm. It, it We are doing an NPC tournament, a big old NPC tournament, and we will be unveiling that bracket next week. So... And, and we'll we're looking for a, your participation to help us is to, to help us see who wins the bracket. Like it's not gonna be just what we say. It's also gonna depend on the community members and what your opinion is. So we'll put this out on Twitter. You'll get, I don't know what, but like a couple we, days we'll to be, vote. We'll be discussing a yeah, we haven't quite figured out in between in between yeah. our normal shows throughout the summer. It'll, it'll be going on throughout the summer. It'll, it's a it'll long go on for a while. Game. Yeah, it's a big tournament. I'm we, very excited. We need a lot of people involved, and we need you know we want to make sure everybody has a chance to to get down and get with it and have some fun with it. So yeah, so yeah, you can look forward to that next week. Hopefully, live on Twitch on Thursdays. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we have everybody back on board and people <laughs> aren't sick and yeah and other crazy life happenings. I know. Uh, We'll have Eric back because his uh, school will be out. So he'll be back on a regular schedule. So we'll get Sulior back. Our and, analyst, Sulior. Yep. And who knows? Yeah. We have two Jack. Eric's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I should specify which Eric. <laughs> mm-hmm. So anyway, I, I think that's it. We'll, we'll just leave him in suspense right there. All right. Perfect. But I've suspense. seen it. There's a lot. A lot. We we put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, it took us many weeks. He's been doing a lot of work. I've just been like throwing some names out. He's been putting in all the work. He's got yeah. this beautiful bracket made, and he's still working on it. So kudos to you for for putting in all that effort there. <laughs> I wouldn't it's, even it's know where to start. Finished. I would be like, it's pretty much finished up until this point. Maybe I'll move. I'll move a couple seatings, but that's about it. Yeah, it uh, looks everyone good. who's in is in. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got some good names in there. Some names that people are going to be like, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron. where'd he come from? And you yeah. don't have to actually look it up. We dug deep. <laughs> we, we dug, dug deep. deep. Well, Not anyway. just the obvious ones, although they're probably there too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got obvious ones. We got some deep dive NPCs. And hopefully we'll be doing this every summer. It'll be, it'll be an annual thing, but it'll be different stuff yep. each time. But anyway, well, let's get to our discussion. Uh, we So everyone talks about uh, what they want to see in the new Fallout game when it comes out. And the TV show in the second season, which we know they're going to New Vegas, more than likely, because of the end scene. Yeah, it'd be but, shocking if they don't. Yeah, it'd be very <laughs> shocking. Like, we're not going to New Vegas. <laughs> like, psych. Like, swear back to Los, Los that Angeles. would we go. be a very big psych if they did that. If they just took that whole uh, story and, like, sat on it until, like, season three. That like, what be... happened to Hank? Tune in season three. We'll find we, out. We don't know. I mean, that sounds like such a... It sounds like, like something Game they of would Thrones do, kind of thing to do, you know, like you forgot all about that. You're like, oh my gosh, what happened to that guy? <laughs> we haven't seen him in season one. <laughs> well, it would I, be and, well, horrible, anyway. but it could happen. <laughs> well, anyway, we, we be will nice. be talking about what we don't want to see. Yeah, we don't want to see that. <laughs> we don't no, want to no, see that. No, we don't want to see that. <laughs> don't see, don't put Hank on the back burner for a season. You know, such as places, <laughs> creatures, mechanics. Anything and any everything is on the table. And if you don't, if you disagree and you want to see, and you believe you want to see that, tweet us at us. Give yeah. us your reason, or on our Discord, Just, or email or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All, all the all the things, all the things. All, all the above. You can even comment on this YouTube video when it yeah, comes out. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I mean, on Spotify for sure, you can um, you can remark, make you know, I say never questions. see those though. I don't know where to find them. You'll have to figure it out. I, think I have I to have, find them. I have posted questions on other people's, and some people don't have the questions um, open. Because, like, I'll go to comment, and I'm like, oh, you don't have your comments open. <laughs> so it's hit or miss. Well, anyway, I'm going to go first, because I th we were discussing this a little bit before the show started. And the thing I don't want to see, because I was always, I raged a lot. It got me very frustrated. Was going into Grey Ditch. I think it was Grey Ditch. Yeah. Find find Grey find Ditch. them fire ants. And I guess it may be a me thing because I was terrible at Fallout 3. But I don't want to see them fire ants again. For all I know, they, they can go stay in Grey Ditch. They don't want to expand. How many times have you played Fallout 3? Probably. Really? More than yeah. And you still haven't figured out how to do it. because I only. Well, I know it. how to. It doesn't mean I don't want it. It, it, it oh, frustrates that's true. me. I mean, they do suck, but so I played it once, you know, ages ago, because I, you know, Fallout Four was the one that I was just like, oh my gosh. But when I played it again this past season on the Fallout feed, um, check out that show. It's a great show. It is a great show. Our friend Jessica Starr and um, Indie Android and. Um, Ray, all great people. But the second time I went and played it, of course, I'm way better at video games than I was the first time I played. I didn't have any problem with them. <laughs> it's like I figured it out. You know, I was like, oh, now I know why you take the the ant serum first. Um, now I know why you do this and da 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 da. But I didn't have any problems with them. But I gotta tell you, the uh, reavers are kicking my butt. Yeah, they're tough. They are tough. Reavers. I, I do agree. Oh my gosh, they are so tough. And you you hit them, I don't know, whenever you hit like some level in your 20s, I'm assuming. And they are nasty. And then any of those, what are they? The kissing cousins, the cousin I, stuff, as, as J Star calls them. Um, they're it's been on a while the, since uh, I played Fallout 3, to be honest. On uh, Point Lookout. You know the the cousins, all the, the cousins, all the cousins. What, what are they called? Uh, are the they hillbilly. actual people? Oh, the hillbilly like guys, the the locals. Um, hold on, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, they're tough too. I just played this. Don't mind me. <laughs> I can't remember. Don't mind me. I just. Played I just remember this game. the tribals are like the ones at the cathedral, but there's the swamp folk all over the. 
the island where they they weren't called swamp folk were they they were called something else i thought hold on anyway they're tough maybe not so much the little skinny creeper guy but the other two were a little tougher the big meaty guy the one that everybody says looks like he came out of goonies that guy oh you mean the hey you guys that, that guy. guy he's a tough one that guy yeah yeah are, that are guy. you surprised i actually i i know that reference yeah yeah I no. love that. I mean, movie. it's a pretty it's memorable such a good movie. But every time you see that guy, you're just like, they had to have modeled that. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, but yeah, the kissing cousins, the cousin stuff. Mm. So I mean, but the Griever ghouls are just nasty, ugly. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Icky ghouls. Anyway, they're, they're but, glowing ones on steroids. It seems they're more vicious than that. The and more they're vicious. so they're so leathery, gnarly looking. They're just they're cool of course, looking. Of course, the ghouls in Fallout Three were gross anyway because they were grosser than most ghouls. They weren't the, I mean, just even the regular ghouls that weren't feral were kind of meh. But I mean, I mean, you can't you can't hate on my man Gob over there, you know. No, but he's not a pretty man. He's not a no, pretty no, man. No, he's not a pretty man, but you don't want to hate that. I mean, man. he's got a pretty serious skin condition. And so does Sharon. Oh, yeah, not, no, he needs to go see a dermatologist. <laughs> he really does. If they could find one somewhere up there, to refer him. But, <laughs> but seriously, the one thing that I really hate that I really would just love to never, ever, ever see again is those centaurs. Me I hate New centaurs. Vegas? New Vegas and Fallout 3. I, I don't think I've all... ever seen a centaur in Fallout 3. I guess I never yes! ventured that far. But... They're downtown. If you go, all right, so I'll tell you exactly where you can find them. Go down to the um, Anchorage Memorial uh, and just wander around that area. Okay, no, I have. I, They'd be I, spitting I at you and trying to part. give you special kisses with their tongues. No, yeah, no, no, don't no. you worry. <laughs> You're going to find them. And no. they're just around other places too. Anywhere no, there's, they just seem grosser in New Vegas than they do in three. True, but they're still pretty gross in three. No, they are still pretty gross in three. I will disgusting. imagine. Yeah. yeah, they're really disgusting. So, so uh, let's discuss a little bit what places we don't want to see them do in Fallout in, from the next Fallout game. Like we had a couple. Well. <laughs> And please don't I'll hate preface, us. I'll preface this by saying I was born in Indiana. I don't want to see the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago is a maybe. <laughs> well, because it's right off of Lake Michigan. There's some lake aspects city. there. It's yeah. a big city. I get yeah. it. Why, why they would want probably think about it. Yeah. And you got like a huge airport and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, anywhere else in the Midwest, I mean, St. Louis is a stretch. It could, but I mean, it, I mean that that skyline nice. would look pretty cool, though. It would, it would. You know, with the broken arch, I, w I would love yeah. to see if it actually stayed up. It looks cool in Starfield, I'll tell you that, because they they did choose the arch as one of the few remaining landmarks on Earth in Starfield, and it yeah. looks pretty cool. I guess I've never played Starfield. You probably have not. <laughs> But I mean, just even if you did, you may not have made it to Earth and found the arch. So there's like some landmarks on Earth. One of them's not even um, marked, I guess. It's uh, you have to find the Eiffel Tower just by luck and skill or something because they don't even have it marked so, as a quest. I think somebody forgot to put the marker in. But there's a bobble or not a bobblehead. I'm sorry. There is no snow globe there. So it's a thing, but. There's nothing that tells you to go. See, mostly in Starfield, getting off track, you can read a book or something, and it'll it'll give you a quest to go to that place and then get the snow globe from there. But nothing ever triggers you to go to the Eiffel Tower, not the Eiffel Tower, the, the Arch Leaning Tower, of Pisa. Oh, in Italy, yeah, yeah. And so, you, but if you go, if you can track down where it is on the planet, and you can manage to land nearby and walk around and find it. It's there. It's been a long time since I've played Starfield. I need to get back to space. Well, get back to space. We'll yeah. Go shoot some stuff up in space. But I played a bunch of Fallout 3 recently, which is why Centaurs were fresh on my mind. No, I understand that. And I've been playing a lot of 76 because they've been having events galore for all the newbies. 
Not surprising. Okay. That's another thing that I would like to see go. In fact, Nate Perkypile, who put the Knicks, who put the ticks in the game, commented ticks the other day. The he commented the other day why he put them in because he once had almost gotten Lyme disease from ticks because he used to get bit a lot in his dog. And uh, he doesn't like them. So he put them in the game. And I was like, thank you for that. Because they're really gross when they bite you and then they mm -hmm. blow up. Yeah, it's nasty. Like a real tick, but so much bigger. Mm -hmm. um, that yeah. I can live without, too. Yeah, I can, I can live without a couple things. So, so mechanics-wise, going... There's a lot of things that fall three I don't like. Yeah, okay, go ahead. There's a lot of things. I, I mean, I like the game as a whole. Mm -hmm. But there's some minor things that I don't like. Okay. It, it's just that I guess it's maybe just me. I wonder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see awful if you're gonna at say, that game. I'm gonna see if you say the same thing that I would say about Fallout Three. Go ahead. Okay, so my, there's my, one thing that's like glaring to me that always bugs me when I play this game. Oh, uh, it's probably going to be uh, having to fix your weapons. But I actually like the fact that you can do it by just picking up another weapon of the same well, kind. Well, I guess that's you because know, I'm that's dumb. Kind of My character is super dumb in the game, so I can't do nothing. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Well, that see, I always play high intelligence. So it, I so. always end up with like a steak knife going after maybe these ants or like a death claw. Or like I'm running at a raider with a with like a the steak ants knife because you don't have the weapons to do anything with them. I have I nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Or or I that have the sense. gun, but no ammo. Or vice versa, where I have ammo, but not the right gun. So you'll have to do, you'll have to go to Ray's school of leveling. Because he's he's decided that you go, when you start playing Fallout 3, you immediately do um, Anchorage. Because you level up, level up, level up, and there's this trick he has where you can bring weapons back from Anchorage and they don't break. Mm. But you have to use the Gary. You know, he's like your your suitcase. <laughs> you got to oh. take him with you and bring him back. <laughs> Load him up and bring him Gary. back. Otherwise, you can't bring things back from Anchorage. And then you go do um, uh, the Zayton. And when you do that, you do a bunch of leveling up. Plus, you get all those cool guns. Well, yeah, I guess. The ammo also, and stuff. I don't have I don't have DLCs for the game. You don't uh, have the game of the year edition. Why not? They're I probably bought it before the on... game of the year edition came out. Oh, oh, and you still have it on disc. I was say it's probably super cheap. If you just like, I have it on disc for my 360. I don't have it for my one or my Series X. And you don't play PC. I was gonna say, just pop it on your Steam I, wish I, list. They'll tell you when it's on sale for like two bucks. <laughs> I'm locked out of my Steam account for some reason. You probably just need to change your password. Well, I trying. I'm trying to, but it's like they're 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 uh, help desk people are pretty decent. I had to. I asked them one time, like, why my DLC wasn't downloading for Fallout Four, and they were like, "Because there's some games on my computer here that I'm like, I would love to play them, but I can't because my I can't log into Steam anymore." Ask them. But anyway, that's Ray's suggestion because then you can have a bunch of cool weapons that you can fight people with and you're leveled up pretty quickly for the first part of the game. And then you go out and you start like the main quest line and stuff like that. Because then you've got like some levels under your belt. It's a little easier to do the things that you have to do. Because that was kind of like some things that we did along the way because we were playing the DLCs for Fallout 3 for the, the roundtable season. And he was like, I think that, you know, people should do these first off because it gives you you know, so many advantages to then go into the game and you're like that much farther ahead. It was kind of nice advice. That makes sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, some, I some did places. level significantly during Zeta and I can't remember what I did during Anchorage. Definitely uh, during Zeta and probably the pit, I got a couple levels in there too. Okay, so now you've heard my glaring reason. Maybe I agree with you, would agree with yours in three, and I just didn't think about it. Uh, mine is that you can't run. <laughs> yes, yes. You can't run. I didn't think about that. I'm so used to, like, booking it from one location to the other. And like, then I'm losing like, steam my, halfway through. Push my, uh, my button down and, you know, and it doesn't 
do anything. Actually, if if I'm using my Xbox controller, when you push the button down, I just crouch. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, just crouch. what It's am like. I doing? <laughs> like, no, I want to run. So yeah, that's stupid. So yeah, I I wish we could run in Fallout Three. I'm so Yeah, glad that would that be they will nice. probably always let us run now. So that's cool. Uh, I I just hate the fact that because it, it and it I really think kills New Vegas me. you can run. Could we? I think I haven't in New really Vegas played it, you so could I don't run. know. Because I was thinking we could in four, and we can definitely I know you in can 76, in four because I've because done I'm it. so used to it. Um, Yeah, yeah, I know. I feel the same way like where when I'm I'm going on. back and forth between 76 and three, I'm like, dirt, 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 dirt. it takes me like five minutes to figure out which game I'm in because I'm always using the wrong buttons. You know, I'm like pulling up bats when I'm trying to like just look in my, you know, trying to look in my um, pit boy or something. It's so, like, oh my God. Because the buttons are all wonky. And then I'm like, you know, I could probably change the buttons, but I'm halfway through the game now, so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> it's like, I'll just I'll just soldier on being confused every time I go into a new game. It's fine. I like to play the hard way, I guess. Mm hmm mm hmm Time to do the hard way. Mm hmm But it was interesting because I I played Fallout 3 so many years ago. Gosh, I don't even know how many years ago at this point. Because that was the I watched Connor playing it one day and was like, that game looks cool. And he was gone. He was just a kid. And I played, I remember when I played it, I was like Wasteland Jesus or something like that. Cause I was a good character, such a good character. Oh, <laughs> oh, Well, you're this one of the worst one, characters. this one, you know, we, we roll stats and you get what you get. And I, my character was supposed to be neutral. And I was like, well, that can't be that bad. You know, just steal a couple things here and there. No, by the time I couldn't get down to neutral, but by the time I did a few bad things, and, and It some was of them too I late. did I understand. by accident. It's the karma system at its best. Yeah, it's kind of like when you tank your GPA and then you can't get it back, no matter how good you are <laughs> and how many Luckily, like I, that never happened. A's you get. I got close, but it didn't happen. <laughs> but I, I got evil. I was like evil incarnate or something like that. I forget how far down the totem pole that is. It's pretty low. So I got. super bad but by the end of this playthrough i finally managed to eke myself up to back to neutral so that was pretty good but i was like donating to the church and <laughs> giving water to everybody who asked and uh freeing all the slaves and doing all the good things i could think to do to get Just myself do everything from being like evil you want. yeah but it worked i ended up neutral And if I finish my playthrough, I'll probably end up being good. I'll try and stay neutral just to see if I can keep it just for fun. You know, Yeah. why not? <laughs> but we, do you have anything else that you don't want to see in gameplay? I'm trying to think if there's any other games that things Gameplay bug me. itself probably in Like, Fallout I don't, in so Fallout some people, 4 where it freezes in the middle in the middle of Boston, that's something. oh, but they fixed that with the update to the update. The update to the update. Well, they fixed It, it it's with not the the update. same. And then the update to the update was to fix all the things that I guess got broken on Xbox. I don't know, because with PC, I, I don't think it was a problem, but I I I think haven't they broke played it consoles. in a while. I still I don't haven't remember. played the update of the update yet. I, I haven't either. I'm waiting until everybody says things are smooth because people are still complaining about, I don't know, mods and garbage. So, Yeah, that's another reason because like two thirds of my mods are broken right now that I play well, with. I mean, I'm like, okay, with starting it with a vanilla run because... I don't even know, how, like, because I know that London is going to be a huge mod, so I don't know, like, you know, if it'll work with other mods or anything, so I might be, like, saving a vanilla game for London. I don't know. I guess I'm waiting for Miami. Oh, Lord. I haven't even heard a date on that. I would think they'd be getting I, close. I I follow them and they follow us Cool. on our Twitter Yeah, I, at follow RTP. yeah, I knew that. I, I would think that they'd be getting close. I saw um, Looks uh, nice. Fallout what Empire State has Yeah, been posting some Empire more Empire's wastes Yeah, they've been or whatever. posting some more art, some buildings and stuff. So that's cool. And then and because of that, because we're getting like Fallout Miami and Fallout London and, and Fallout New York in mods, I kind I don't think of I don't think they would go there then if they Yeah, looked that I kind good. of want to see Fallout 5 go somewhere else. 
Because I don't think Bethesda's going to want to, like, follow a mod. I mean, and I honestly, I don't want to see Fallout 5. All right. So everybody's like, we want to go see what's going on in China. We want to see this. I don't really want to leave the U.S. because I kind of like the theory that says that maybe nobody else got nuked but us. And if we, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of don't want to go outside the U.S. to well, kind of Eventually, keep I think it'd be a good idea. Alive. I want to keep that theory alive that it's possible that everybody else in the world is like, fine. <laughs> it's just us, <laughs> you know. Us, they're all Canada like, and Mexico. Gone. Well, probably North America, right? Like North yeah, America is like, screwed, North American but everybody else is, is gone. fine. Like China's fine, Europe's fine. Actually, you know, they're probably actually, doing better. I know. I said we're America not. doesn't want we're their doing stuff one of anymore. Those. We're doing one of those, but this this came up too, while I was thinking of stuff not that I'd not want to see. I would want to see Anchorage. You Go do to want us. to? Yeah. I know that yeah, contradicts but, but about, everything that I just said that this episode is going to be about, but I'm like... But what would your side locations be? Because, okay, because, you know, you think about it. The cool thing about Fallout that keeps people so engaged, because I read an article one it's time so that said towns. that whenever you do, like, a sandbox, like, you got to keep people engaged. I think I read this when Hogwarts Legacy came out. It's like you don't want anybody walking in any direction from like a point of interest. You don't want them walking in any direction without some other point of interest for more than like, I forget how many minutes or whatever. Because I know the thing about Hogwarts Legacy is like they have some, like they were just everywhere. But they were saying yeah. that games like Fallout are also not as close as like Hogwarts Legacy was because they were... Like, they were just like, oh, my God, this just, like, overloads. Like, there's so much in this game. And there really is. It's a ton. But I think games like Fallout is what keeps people so engaged with wandering the wasteland because there's always something within that. So, like, let's, I can't remember the numbers, but it was like you couldn't be walking more than, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes before you have another point of interest. But they would have one in, like, five to seven minutes. You know, just something, even if it's just like you run across a skeleton or those dumb teddy bear piles with, you know, the, or the questionable mannequin, poses. The okay, yeah. Or no, a creepy I, mannequin or something like that. Even if I, it's I not. Want them, what I would want them to do, sorry to interrupt, but I just thought of this, is that I I would not want to see both teddy bears and mannequins in the same building together. <laughs> is it too I much creep? Like, it, that's too much creep for me. Too much creep factor. Yeah. Well, they said that even if it's not like. You know, you leave your point of interest and you run into an enemy, run into an enemy, run into an enemy. It, they're like, that's, you know, it's not that that's keeping you engaged, but it's something that you see that just catches your interest and goes, ooh, look at that. So, yeah, the, the teddy bears are like, oh, my gosh, look at that. They're in compromising poses or, ooh, there's a mannequin. It's so creepy. Or, hey, I found a box of loot, you know, something um, that just mm -hmm. that captures your interest. And they said, you know, but that's just really good about doing those things within that time of where a player is going to wander around and get bored because nothing's happened. Well, yeah. And then you, and then, and then you have, but what are you going to do there. for that? Yeah. And the Easter eggs are awesome. Like you wander around and you find the TARDIS or you wander around and you find, you know, the cheers bar, the cheers bar, or I, I you know, had the to scene from breaking bad or yeah. Yeah. The know, pizza the on the from, roof. You know, there's so many things that you find that are just super, super random. Mm -hmm. but what are you going to do in Anchorage for that? Because, I mean, Alaska, we already know, is like a lot of nothing. There's like, what, two big cities there, or three, or I don't know. I don't know yeah. a lot about Alaska. <laughs> like, except that it's very expensive because it's hard to get there. <laughs> it is pretty expensive. Yeah, because they have to ship everything in. <laughs> what do you want, Missy? Mm -hmm. The dog is licking my foot. So yeah, so let's talk about let, let's let's pivot here a little bit. Still staying on the topic of what we don't want to see. What places do we not want to see in a Fallout game? Or I don't want to see California. I'm Been sorry, people in California that listen to our show. We don't want to go back. Well, okay, listen. Fallout One, Fallout Two, Fallout TV show, Fallout New Vegas. Close enough. You know. Granted, 
Um, okay, fine. I also don't want to see the East Coast unless maybe New York would be cool, but we have the DLC, so I'm good with that. I we think have, if you want to stay on the East Miami. Coast, you'd have to go further down. I'm good with that. Exactly, but we're getting Miami and we're getting New York, so I'm good with that. Because yes, I was thinking go farther north or go farther south. What I but want what's further is further north though. Once you hit Boston, there really isn't. Well, we've been any to Maine. Big... We've been to Maine. Yeah, yeah. Um, New York City Bar is Harbor. the next one. Yeah, yeah New York City is... would be the next one. Yeah, you're right. And then you know, so and then so be... then you've got DC, and then it goes. You know. I mean, we could do DC. Charleston, but they don't even talk about South Carolina, as far as I know. We could we could see Baltimore or Atlanta. Atlanta would be but, pretty cool. I would love to see Atlanta. I mean, that's possible because you know, Nuka World headquarters are in Atlanta. Speaking <laughs> of Nuka, the the real life equivalent of Nuka Cola. You know what I did when I was down in Atlanta for the you Michigan went to the Coca Cola Museum. I did. So did we. It's okay. It, it's we also awesome. went to the aquarium. Because there's also I an aquarium right across the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's just literally right there. I'm like, mm-hmm. my my mom and I, so my sister was in the Michigan State Marching Band. Mm-hmm. And, and they, and they, and the football, Michigan State football team was, was in, I think it was the Peach Bowl, which is in Atlanta at the yep. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And mom, I got and a couple I got, of friends in Atlanta, so yeah, I've been down there several times. And uh, so they were doing their own thing. We we were just following them pretty much until the game. And so uh, we went off, and uh, I wanted to go see the Coca Cola Museum. And guess what I got? Coca Cola bottle? No, <laughs> I don't know. I got Fanta socks. Oh my god! <laughs> what flavor? Still- <laughs> no, no, it's the original orange. Okay, orange Fanta. My kid still drinks orange Fanta. I love orange Fanta. Mm-hmm. And then I got a Fanta shirt. I would love, and I've said this, like I everybody have the knows. Shirt still. If anybody said, where does Don want to see Fallout? Everybody would say New Orleans, because that's what I want to see. I want to yeah. go to New Orleans. Because I think it would have the best potential. There's a lot to do around there. You've got swamps. So I mean, you've you got, got colleges, lots colleges of crazy that critters that can come out of there. You've got so many different groups of people. You know, we've got the Gullah, we've got the Creole, we've got no. There's so many different different. You've people, got types all of the voodoo there. priestess. You know, there's all I think kinds the bigger of thing would crazy be stuff you can come up with out of there. Yeah, you yeah, know, I agree. I think it would be amazing. I mean, could you imagine us like? Going through warehouses of old float, you know, bubbles and stuff, and and that would be super creepy. And then having like ghouls crawl out from underneath. Oh, that's a creep factor. Move up too, you know. That would be cool. It would (laughs) be cool. And have to fight them in there and figure out where they are amongst all these huge float, you know, statues and decorations and stuff. It'd be wild. It would be very cool. And then all those old buildings and oh. you know, everything could be like flooded or whatever in certain places. So you would I have mean, that yeah, aspect. The levees would probably be all be destroyed at that point. Or, or It's very possible. Or, I mean, if anything, you know, we'll just say, oh, you know, rising tides or whatever. So you know that global warming, there's, there's going to be some flooding in some areas and you know, because I mean, a lot of shipping down there, so you're gonna have a lot of boats. You know, all kinds of stuff with the river. I mean, and the Baton river Rouge is not that far away either, right? You, you know, you so we're LSU. you've got all these different cities around there, and if you really want to go into Texas, you can go into Texas if you want. Hold on, let me think. East Texas. I mean, if you need some desert, I mean, I'm sure he's literally Texas. right there. Yeah, I know. Houston's my, right there. My cousin, uh, her husband was from Louisiana. Louisiana. And they lived in my, they lived in mom, Dallas. My mom is from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. But I think that honestly, that is such a killer location with some awesome potential. Well, I would I agree. love to see that. And nobody's making a mod there right now. Not that we know of, anyway. Not that we have heard. So but there's they're doing one. In- placed in like new mexico they're doing new mexico i think they're doing the northwest again 
Cascadia doing Hawaii. Is up there. Cascadia. We're doing New York and Miami, and we already know London. So yeah, London, London's the one that's taking full center stage because of how close yeah, they are. London's ready to go as soon as they can make sure that they're not going to, you know, crash with the new release. I'm just glad they found out, but they said they're not going to hold it again if they release. And Bethesda says, "Oh, hold up, we're going to update." They're not going to hold it again. They're just going to go with it. But this was the big release, so anything that comes out after this, I guess, is just like version. Point two, version point three, version point four. So it's not going to be that big, big of a deal. <sighs> but that's I what I want to see. So honestly, in my mind, I don't want to see the game anywhere else. The TV show, however. However, we got different ideas. I'm okay with the TV show continuing in where it is. I wouldn't mind if they did do a you know, because we weren't sure like how it was going to fit in with the East Coast stuff. I would be well, okay it's after if, like the East Coast stuff, though. So. Yeah, but the East Coast stuff is still going on. It's not like everybody out here just died off and like everything stopped. It's still going. Well, yeah. If you think about it, though, all but, the events after. But now that we've seen that, after, you know, Maxim came probably came back with the airship, so we know that the Institute is destroyed. But did they Prime's get them all? Still there. Did they get them all? So gotta catch them all. You know, because you know, a lot of times when you try and all. oust something, you're always gonna miss one or two rats. So always, you never know. And I would be okay if they like did a, you know, because we already know that Nolan's good at this back and forth thing. I'd be okay if he maybe had a little storyline going on the East Coast and then, you know, stuff going on on the West Coast. I wouldn't care if we were bouncing back and forth like that if it was, real, you know, related and relevant. You know, that would be okay. Like, if they're showing somebody has to talk to somebody here and then you have to see the backstory of what this person's doing, that's fine. But it has to relate. It can't be separate event because that's too No, I agree. I agree. If something, something would be... Um... It has to connect somehow. Yeah. And there has to be relevant to the story. Like, why yeah. do we care about this person over here? You know, it why has to be. Why do we care about the, the story? We're, we're for Fallout there. fans. We don't care. Well, yeah. But you, it, you it can still see has that to what happened in 76 with the bit, the excursions. None of us cared. I actually do like the Atlantic City. Let me City phrase ones, that how. Okay. Let me I like the Atlantic the City ones, though, fine. because they made it where I can just go there. And I don't have to do an excursion. I could just go there or expedition, whatever the hell it's called. I I just go there. And the cool thing about it was when I went there just to visit, there were all these people just hanging out on the boardwalk like they probably do any other day in Atlantic City. Just like little guy, little busker playing his guitar. These two people just hanging out, talking and smoking cigarettes, you know, on the rail, looking at the water. A couple of women just hanging out, talking to each other. And I took pictures of everybody, kind of like a daily life kind of thing. And I posted them all like my expose or whatever of Atlantic City. But mm -hmm. you don't see people just casually hanging around when you're on an expedition. So like being able to go over there and just take pictures of like everyday life and just blend in and walk around and enjoy the ambience of Atlantic city was awesome. I like that. I hope that they do that with any future expeditions. Cause I'm sure we're going to have them. Oh, oh, especially with the expansion of the main map. In I am so excited about that. And I don't know if you saw, but today they announced that they have surpassed 20 million players in fallout 76. I, I feel like I saw it on Twitter. Yeah. But and I, I didn't really look close into it because I was sitting in comment. my lazy boy doing nothing. Let's see who is that. It's um one of the one of the newer guys. Let me see if I can find it. But he made a comment that um ah, it doesn't show his name. 20 million players strong. It was Jonathan something, is all I can remember. And he made a comment, something about we're excited about releasing the first expansion to the map. 
And mm-hmm. we, and so of course everybody's like the first expansion the or one of the expansions or something like that. It was like, definitely the way it was said makes us think that we may get further expansions in the future. I, I feel like that they're not going to make because because I think they're making another Elder Scrolls game right now. Well, they are, but, but I mean, I, they're still going to work on this. They no, said no, they. I, I think they'll still do more seventy six. I just think that it will be well. The expa- thing is, especially with the big expansion that's coming to the main map, I don't think they're going to go outside of the map anytime soon. No, it'll like probably be a couple an- years. It'll probably yeah, be no. a couple of years because it took it took five years to get this, almost six. Yeah, but Atlantic City looks great, though. Atlantic City's to the beautiful. Yes, it does. It looks way better than the pit does. I, the pit was the pits, but, you know, let's just say that. I also feel in like... Way. And that's that's something I don't want to... And that's why I don't want to see in, in another game or maybe even TV show. I don't like going back to old places because... I mean, and, they, and they're it showed with seven, the expedition. They're going to New Vegas, so they sort of, you, you know. You well, sorta... the New Vegas might be different because it's a different medium, you know. Oh well, yeah, and it's a different point in time now. Also, it's it's a different it. point in time, and it's, it's a different after medium. The first battle of, and Hoover we're going to see something completely different. But what I don't like is, you know, th- so this was like before we even went to the pit the first time in time. And everybody got excited about going to the pit. Oh my gosh, it's the pit. We love the pit. It's going to be so great. And then when what we got was like way pared down. Oh from yeah, what no, we were no. Used the to. setting, the setting was like a d- disgrace. It was like this much compared to what we had before, and everybody was thinking we're getting the pit. We're not they never getting promised the, the pit. pit. It was just we were going. We, we to got the pit. a warehouse. Like, we didn't get the bridge. We didn't get. You know, the big mansion. We didn't get none of that. And we got so, a warehouse. We got a warehouse. That's it. Well, a couple buildings, but well, okay, fine. A couple buildings, but the main building is a warehouse, pretty much. Yeah. So I mean, we to be honest, and everybody expected way more. So I thought going to Atlantic City was really smart because no, it's not it's new. It's new. And we didn't have expectations. And that's why I don't want Fallout Five to be somewhere that we've been before. Because everybody going to have expectations. I mean, and I, I wouldn't mind. I don't want expectations. Okay, going going to another game franchise right now. GTA Six is going back to Vice City. Yeah, I know. I heard. <laughs> I'm excited. I loved. I I loved GTA Vice City. Yeah, when, when and it first but that's came the out. thing. Like what? So the, they'll probably just redo the stuff that they had before. They may not change anything. Well, well, it's it's a new, it's it's, it's uh, just, except for the fact that it's like what a new engine and. Well, no, it's not going to be placed in the eighties. It's going to be like modern time. Vice City is. Oh, if, if you saw the trailer. Well, I saw the trailer. I don't think I I didn't know anything about the original game. Well, yeah, no, the original game was set in 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 the mob mob eighties. You got the '80s rock channels. That's what I rocked out the entire time playing yeah, that game. Yeah, it's like the best music. Come that on, that is the about? greatest music <laughs> ever, in my opinion. <laughs> but so, so go, going a little off topic here with music. I guess it sort of goes in, but doesn't. '80s rock for me is like high tier. It is uh-huh. best below. Don't make music EDM. like that anymore. <laughs> I love. 80s 80s rock music you know like the acdc the metallica Mm -hmm. mm, the the hair the the hair Hair bands bands. yeah then uh then below below, right below that is edm electronic dance music i love electronic dance music now you know well that's cool the more you know yeah well, I know, you know, because I'm I do the machinima that that uh, with Ray Middleton. He's he uses uh, GTA for his his regular days or his modern days or present day, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and then, present day stuff. And then yeah. he uses Fallout seventy six for the future. Or okay, so I should say he uses GTA for the past, and he uses Fallout seventy six for the present. Is what I should say. And which, which, which I'm guessing GTA five in Los Santos. He was, yeah. I mean, that's the the plot is Los Santos, but I think he's going to use 
GTA 6 because the mechanics are better. Yeah, the mechanics are going to be a whole lot better. The graphics are basically going to because fry I remember our, like the first are episode fry that... our consoles to Kingdom Come. Yeah, do you do you, so like the first episode? I don't. You probably didn't see it, but my character. It's so funny because I don't play GTA, so like I'm watching the footage, and the characters walk around, and they're supposed to be like flirting in a bar, <laughs> but they're like they stand so aggressively, like, like huh. and then it's like. That's wow. classic GTA right there. <laughs> the, 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 like, look. But yeah, the way they're talking is like they're flirting, but they look like they're getting ready to like do a takedown. <laughs> it's like, wow. Or beat you. So I know like some of that I think is better. I, I guess from what I've heard, like the, the body poses look more natural and not so hulkish. <laughs> so. I mean, some characters in GTA 5 still are hulkish and. Well. Some of the the footage that I don't know what he's recording in right now, but he's he's putting episode two together right now, and it's it's looking pretty good. Well, anyway, how about we uh, we can continue this conversation on the other side of our break? Week. Um, yes, break time. Yeah, half time. Uh, we'll see you on the other side of this break here. Hi, welcome to Three Count Thoughts. Let me introduce the crew real quick. Hi, I'm Maverick Stone. I'm Romer. And I'm Jaxus. Join us as we talk all things wrestling. Each week, we'll take a topic from the wrestling world, knock it around a bit, and then go over the week in wrestling from a strictly fan perspective. We can be found on all major podcast catchers. We can also be found at Three Count Thoughts on both YouTube and Twitter. Or you can send us an email using threecountthoughts at gmail.com. Okay, are you ready? Ring the bell. Welcome back to the other side of the break. Uh, we were just talking about how uh, Warner is a bad guy. <laughs> with no context and at all. Warner's a bad guy. Warner... <laughs> From the pit. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, <laughs> is the bigger bad guy than than Lord Asher ever was. <laughs> um, and we don't want to see Warner again. We want him to die. We did. I didn't say that. You said that. Well, anyway, anyway, uh-huh. we're going back to our context here. Uh, so going on to let, let's move on to the TV show for our last half of the show, pretty much. Um. What do you not want to see? We we talked about what we want to see in the TV show in season two, but what don't you want to see? I kind of, I kind of don't want to see any more pimple jokes. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the pimple jokes though. It's the fallout humor. That's part of the fallout humor though. Sorry. Don't burp don't like I did my... in the beginning of the show. I don't know if I've ever had any such cringy. Okay, fine, I mean, I fine. Thought, they were cringy. I but, thought you the know. wet lady thing was like the worst thing I'd ever seen in Fallout until the pimple thing. The pimple jokes. And then it the was like, steal yeah, people. no, that's, that's definitely worse. <laughs> you know that thing? I that laughed. To other I, people, I laughed. not me. I laughed hardcore though. I'm sorry. I thought it, it was, was just, and it was just. It, they were cringy enough that that it made me laugh. Yeah, true. But that's but, the fallout uh, magic, though, when it comes. Well, to Well, and jokes, that's true. Though. But I mean, they had enough of that without. I mean, we had a, we had a lot the, of the the, the penis jokes stuff. Like the wet lady thing was was gross, and but it didn't bother me. The, I the, mean, I was the like, naked cult. Mm. That, yeah, even that was like okay. Like, I felt like Lucy in that moment where she was like, no, you know. But even for a Fallout fan, I, I, because mom and I, mom, my mom and I have talked about that. And like, I didn't understand the like, point of it unless you're just trying, because you knew you were going to bathe in the blood of the, of the survivors or the, the ones that you lost or whatever. But, why 
the disrobing thing unless it's to keep your vault suit blood free. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. And then raising raising the picture of our Lord and Savior. The the Lady of the Flame or whatever. Yeah, the Lady of the Flame. I don't know. I don't know like how I mean we definitely have got to know the backstory to that, which sadly she's dead. So will we be able to get the backstory for that? I mean we I mean, I mean we flashbacks. Have to. Yeah, I'm sure happen. like Cooper's flashbacks are going to cover at least up into the war. And then hopefully somebody's going to have some flashbacks because both of those women are dead now. Yeah, so, both of them are dead. Yeah. So, you know, uh, ha- what's well, actually, name? we don't know if, if Cooper's ex-wife is dead or not. No, I'm talking about um, Lucy's mom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. The, the sizzle Hank's fried wife steak. is dead, so the she can't. We can't steak. see any flashbacks through her. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to anyway because she's a ghoul, and mm-hmm. you know, so like, unless we have flashbacks through Hank, but that's only going to be significant from the time his wife left the vault and he caught up to her and whatever he knew about her activities, like because it looked like she was fairly close to Moldaver. Which, incidentally, is not her name pre-war. So unless she got married or something, I don't know where that name came from. Because they always referred to her as Miss Williams before. So yeah. Okay, maybe yeah. she got married or just that type of thing. Like, like how I call myself Dave her now. <laughs> I don't know. Like how, like maybe how it means it's... something that has been yet to be revealed. I don't know. Maybe we should Google it. Does what does Moldaver mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Does what does that mean exactly? Um, yeah. something I don't want to see in the TV show. Not is, that it uh, has anything to do with this, but I don't want to see anything new from if they go to New Vegas. Anything new? New like new factions or? Oh, like, I no, I don't think they. I don't think they should do that because we see that very clearly in the pullout, which is basically their previews. That there's been some kind of civil unrest. In yeah, yeah. Vegas. And I'm like, I don't want to bring new things. No, I don't think they're going to be able to bring new people in. And you know, it looks like between Mister House's robots and the NCR. There has been one hellacious fight, and we don't even Some brotherhood probably can't too. tell who won. Well, I don't know because the vertebrae looked like it had NCR insignia on it. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll be able I to tell you more about. I don't about. remember the because it's been a while since I've seen the end of it. Well, I'll, I'll be watching it next week because then we'll be recording episode eight next week. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching that again and I'll check, but. <laughs> Because I would, would be not be deal. surprised if if we, we the Brotherhood being as strong or whatever as they are in the first season, as I would they're not, growing to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. as they're regrowing mm-hmm. again. Well, especially now that they have Maxon's resources from the East Coast. They've yeah, now we know what birds back and, and the the um, big balloon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we know the can. Well, we can infer the canon ending and not cast one in. <laughs> the not cast women. <laughs> the non canon endings. Um, mm-hmm. We don't know. The one thing we don't know is the canon ending for Fallout 3, though. No, not yet. No. Because I think we there don't were three know options. whether. I mean, but really, how does that affect everybody else? It really whether... doesn't, but it's nice to know. Yeah, it's it is nice to know, but it doesn't really affect, like, I guess the community at large, because either you poisoned the well or you didn't poison the well. So, you know, Enclave is ruling or not. But I hear, I but I, I feel like they, they did do the can't, me thinking back now, I think they did and they did infer a canon ending in, in, uh, in Diamond City, though. Someone was talking about it in Fallout 4. Really? I think so, if I can remember correctly. I mean, if if anybody talked about getting pure water from the capital wasteland, then yeah, that would be canon. I have to go. You know, I, I would have to go back down. through it, but yeah, I would have to figure that and out. And it would make sense that the enclave does lose because you don't see a big enclave president presence in Thoth Four until now, <laughs> because the update brought them. Yeah. 
So I'm just trying to think because I thought I had a whole lot more. I mean, I I don't want to see. I mean, I would love to see a couple new locations between when from non New Vegas perspective, but I don't want to see them go in depth into it. Like they brought. That's the thing, because I remember when we talked about, you know, when we remember seeing like in the trailer where it looked like they were going to be in Shady Sands and everybody was like, oh, my gosh, they're going to be in Shady Sands. We were like, and then no, Shady, I bet Shady they Sands won't. got destroyed. Yeah, it's like we bet they won't because think about they're going to have to try and recreate everything per the game, which is yeah. going to F with everybody's expectations. Now, if they are going to New Vegas, they might stick to the strip. But um, I feel like that recreating New easier. Vegas. I feel like New Vegas is easier than Shady Sands, though. Well, that's probably why they nuked it. They didn't have to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like it's New probably Vegas a lot would easier, be easier to create because... something that was already three D than something that wasn't. <laughs> yeah. No, you're you not. Have, you're right. It's easier to see something visually, but um, because of the fact that that Bethesda, well, and Obsidian too, did so well making their locations so exact to the real life locations it's probably really easy for a movie studio or whoever to come along later and just go okay you know because they keep them very realistic it's not like they're making this stuff up i mean um, they may change names or whatever right but you know i mean it's like the green briar the green briar is the green briar we call it the white springs but it's still the green briar right down to the carpet and the ugly curtains so yep. you know it's all there, but or or the uh, Pioneer Saloon on Good Springs. Right. It's always yeah. going to be. It's it, it'll so be the prospect for Saloon in the game, but it, it will always be in the Pioneer. Exactly, and and it you know the, everything looks so similar and laid out very similarly. Sometimes the interiors are off because it's just yep. easier for, for. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it'd be more things. easier. But, but like Good Springs is Good Springs. Exteriors are just dead on and you i mean so many people said they went to dc after playing fallout 3 and already knew their way around they already that was knew me in charleston that, that was me when uh i this was before i moved to my current job where mm -hmm. i was going cross continental united states you know long haul driving mm -hmm. and uh, i would go through west virginia to get mm -hmm. to north carolina with a load of ice cream <laughs> yeah um yeah yeah ice cream is you would think it's not that heavy but oh my gosh it's, it's just heavy. a block of ice <laughs> it's pretty heavy once it you is. put a bunch of things together it's heavy mm -hmm. but that's beside the point um <laughs> so uh yeah when i go through charleston west virginia i'm like that got destroyed that got destroyed <laughs> that definitely got destroyed yeah <laughs> The only thing that stands is that gold dome. <laughs> well, and that gold dome is on its side pretty much still, though. Uh, it's, it, it's intact. Okay, let me phrase that. It's, yeah, it's intact. intact. It's intact, but it's like on its yeah. side. It's not upright. It's upright. Hold on. You're on your side. <laughs> Hold on. I spelled Charleston wrong. How do you do that? I don't know. What's the deal with Moldaver? That's that's a Google entry. What's wrong with multi for everything? All the uh, top searches are how did she survive? How did Moldaver survive for over 200 years? Fans have theories. I, I want to do, okay. I want to do another theory episode based on the new series from, from the TV show. So if you guys want to see that, let us know. Yeah, we can do that after we wrap up because, you know, Eric and I have like amassed several theories. So we can do that. It'd after be your new done. side series after you review it. <laughs> yeah, because we just sit there and we just like tear these episodes apart. And then we're like, hey, you know, and we just like come up with our own theories. Like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, it's funny. Oh, I'm still looking. Charleston oh. Capital in Fallout 76. It's just as easy as that. And then go to images. Oh, look. It's straight up and down. Here, hang on. Do you see it? 
okay, fine, you win. <laughs> I know because I was just there last night. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it probably depends on where you're standing. Like part of the dome is destroyed, but yeah, it's like probably the upright. perspective. Yeah, they're all upright. But the, uh, I feel like it's just like the most n notable thing in Charleston because like everybody who drives through is like, oh my gosh, it's gold, you know? It's gold. They had to and leave it. Got destroyed in seven. Had to leave that building, even though it is like pretty much dead center. I mean, you can tell like where all other buildings have washed up to it and stuff. But I mean, it's made of like limestone, I think. So yeah, it's the Capitol building. It's the Capitol yeah, but building I want to say Virginia. that I don't want to Google it right now. But I, I want to say it's probably made of like limestone or something because you know all those, all a lot of those buildings. Good old limestone that came out of like Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, all this. Indiana was like limestone capital of I don't know what for the longest time. Okay. Well, well I, I I just came up with some and I and I want your opinion on it. Okay. Okay, so I know we're doing an episode of not of stuff we don't want to see, but would you want to see Nashville? Now that could be fun. Because it's Music City. I mean, could you imagine Elvis is a ghoul? <laughs> yeah, but only if we can go to Memphis, right? Uh, yeah, it'd be part of it, the map. It's close enough, right? It's quite like, be, I, I feel be like a we should scenario. be able, Because okay. if you were going to do Nashville, then we should be able to go to like Knoxville, Memphis. Basically, go through the Dollywood. entire state, what, what West Virginia? Yeah, like, like did. Tennessee. And that's why I'm hoping. Let's do the like, state of Tennessee right there. Go, you know, go up to Gatlinburg, the tourist. The, yeah, stuff. let and let's go to Dollywood. That's owned by Nuka Cola, <laughs> you know. But they no, can't no, take it's, a, it's another Nuka Cola land. It's but, another but... Nuka Cola land. Well, I mean, I mean, you heard Moldaver say Nuka Cola or Nuka Cola, um, Vault. It could be Vault Tech's uh, competition against Nuka Cola, though. Owned by Vault Tech, that would be awesome. I would love <laughs> Dollywood that. by Vault Tech. You know, because that would be their competition against Nuka Cola. Um, because Vault Tech owned, it was like the biz biggest company in America, biggest corporation. Yeah, basically and they owned ran, ran everything. The, it, they basically ran the United States. Well, they owned everything. they owned part of everything, and I'm pretty sure they owned part of Nuka Cola. I think that's somewhere canon. It's and, somewhere because I had to look it up for our Jeopardy. Oh, I think that's what we're when we were talking about that they owned like a little bit of everything, and so, but you know that's why it kind of fits. But, you know, because that's what um, Bud Askins was talking about, was they were talking about competition. And how do you get ahead of your competitors? You kill them. No. Well, you don't have to. You have just have to outlive them. Yeah, that too. Remember, yeah, he said the biggest yeah. weapon was time. That is true. And management. So they Bud's all put Bud's, themselves on you know. ice and outlive everybody. I didn't like that name. Bud Askins? Oh uh, no, no, no. What what he uh the Bud's Buds. Oh Bud's Buds? Yeah, I was know, like I, dumb, I, wasn't I, it? I, it was the dumbest thing, but I'm like, I get it. But it's that's so fallout. fallout humor. Right? That's so fallout. You wanna I'm be like, a Bud's uh, Bud? I think that's a stretch though. You wanna be a Bud's Bud? Come on. You're just like looking at me with those big puppy eyes, but she's very needy today. Oh, such a sucky oh. puppy. Mm. Such a sucky puppy. You, are, you can tell you're such an old lady when you look at it like that. Yes, if anybody wants to see doggy cam, you have to see us on YouTube. <laughs> the Fallout Roundtable. Just search us up. <laughs> and then you'll see doggy cam. <laughs> My dog likes to pop on camera every once in a while. Because she is a suck up. <laughs> I have a kitten now. You do? Well, well, it's technically my sister's, but Aww. we live in the same apartment. That's cool. It, it's living with mom, mom and dad. Well, because she was, she's, she's not old enough yet. She still Aww. needs to get fed like four times a day, four or five times a day, and we're Emma and I are ne my sister and I are never at home. Yeah. I remember. I'm surprised this one survives. Ever since 2020, 
she used to be home all by herself all day. And since 2020, somebody's always home. I don't know what she would do if we all went back to work. <laughs> She'd probably die. She'd be like, where's my people? I'm so lonely. <laughs> She's always got somebody to snuggle up to now. She is a very needy dog. Very needy indeed. I'm her person, so she gets really mad when I walk out the door to go to work because she knows I'm going to be gone for a while. Oh. Let's see. What do I not want in a game? I, um, I don't want another Nuka-Cola flavor. I don't know. I kind of like the Nuka-Cola flavors. No, no. I, I said I don't want another one. No, I, I kind of do, though. Don't you? Like, I, I think it's kind of cool being regional. Um, but I mean, okay, fine. Since you know, like Michigan, but has it, it is kind of weird that you know it's mentioned in this game, but not other games. Now we could have another competitor, like them, like a regional competitor. Yeah, I would like. I, I guess I would want to see that because I think that would be Nuka better. Cola. Yeah, because you know, especially when you're in Nuka Cola's headquarters or whatever, and you think that you're going to know all their secret knowledge, like we've been in their tasting rooms and whatever, and you think you're going to know everything there is to know about Nuka Cola. But, um, don't, you might disconnect me. She's pushing buttons. Um, oh no. The, the, um, you know, if you don't hear about whatever new magical flavor they're working on somewhere is not mentioned in anybody else's research, Unless they mention something that they might work on, and then you find out that, oh, these people over here already have been. But I can't think of what that would be. I think that maybe courts. I think it'd be corporate corporate espionage. Yeah, but I think I think finding like a new regional flavor like them would be cool. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because you you hear them in, in lore, but you never see them. Like, like well, when them, I, when I was but them you find when you go to Far Harbor. Yeah, you find them in Far Harbor, but you don't see it anywhere else. So, like, if, like, let's just say if the game came to North Carolina, then we'd have to have cheer wine or the equivalent. Uh -huh. um, something like that, because it's been made in Salisbury for, what, over 100 years now. Or if you went into this great state of Michigan, you'd have to have Verner's because it's made. Right made in detroit i think it's made, yeah. still made in detroit yeah just something like that so it would be maybe not a new nuka cola flavor but a new cola like a, a regional competitor and you know maybe even if they recycled the you know corporate espionage corporate sabotage I mean, storyline okay. i'd Harbor. be okay with that yeah i mean they, they could even do that and it'd be like yeah we sell this at Far harbor but it's fun we'll do it again you just like change the story up a little bit. Don't do the same. Just thing. change it up a little bit. You know, like uh, have... you know, we all know it's corporate sabotage, but it's okay. Just do it. Different. It's just Nuka Cola being Nuka Cola. Yeah, yeah. It's just Nuka Cola trying to run out the little guy who's been around longer than you have, and you know, just trying to like it's make a Nuka Cola the combination of the world. Coca Cola and Pepsi, and whatever. and you're just being greedy. <laughs> yeah, Nuka Cola is just a combination of Coca Cola and Pepsi, but you know, whatever. Yeah, of real life counterparts, you know. And a whole bag of sugar or something like that. Yeah, and like a whole... Like the whole bag. <laughs> like, a, like one of those one-pound bag of sugars they just put in a But really, it's just like sweet tea and Nuka and Coca-Cola and Pepsi. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know what I would love to see is Nuka-Cola come up with a sweet tea in the game. Like a sweet tea flavor. Name it. So like that's the, that's the flavor they should have in, in Nolens. <laughs> yes. Nuka-Cola sweet tea. <laughs> but if you're listening to this... We happen. already know how this game is going to go. All you have to do is write the story. We've already given you everything. We've given else. you so much between <laughs> the between the, the lore cast, faction. between the lore cast, us, right. probably the feet. Fall, yeah. yeah, like we've uh, given you everything. All you got to do is write the story. of us, you know, make just, it happen. You just got to write the story, man. Yeah, just, just make just it happen. Leave, just leave everything else to us, like the small towns, the map. Yeah. What, We'll tell you. We'll tell you where we want to go. You just write the story to get us there. Just we'll tell get you us there. Just all the just big tell monsters. Us when you eat the hot dogs on the bun. Right. No, we're not going to eat hot dogs on there. It's going to be. It's going to be the sausage. Right. I have no, on. No, was it no, on delay? On delay. No, People yeah. are going to be screaming at me because I can't say it. Because I'm not sure. Wait, I, what? The on delay on the sausage the. I should probably look it up before I say it. 
it's, it's the special it's the spicy sausage. sausage. Huh? I think it's the spicy sausage, right? Yeah, but I think there's the name for it. The name. The name for the spicy sausage down down in Louisiana. Yes. I think I think it's just called sausage. Or like um Polish sausage or whatever. No, it's not Polish sausage. Well Hmm. I'm like so leaned back in my chair right now. It's not even funny. What is on on? Okay, I can't speak French. So it's on. It, it, it's it's you? Creole. On do you? I don't it's know. Creole. It's a n d o u i l l e. Just put it. Just put it in Google Translate. They'll tell you. I'm on the right track. Let's put it in Google Translate, though. Oh, then no, I gotta find Google Translate. Yeah, I'll do it later. Oh, hold on, hold on. I know where mine is. <laughs> hold up, dude. We're gonna figure this out before before we end this show. Because I have Google Translate in a separate place because I use it at work. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now tell now get, spell the word out. A n a n d o u i l l e. Oh, hold on, slow down. A n d Doing this from memory. A N D O U O U I L L E, I believe. I L L E. And Dewey. And Dewey? Yeah. And Dewey? Close. And Dewey. Dewey. Okay. And Dewey said, so "It's funny. Spanish." Well, it's a Romance language. Yeah, yeah, no. She could be confused, but I thought it was French. Those too, but but on Google Translate, it it. But translates I mean, to be fair, it's a port and... city, so it could be all kinds of things. Well, yeah, yeah, in because I know Florida, Florida back in the day before the United States purchased it, what was or like they. Span Spaniards gave up Florida during the war, of, during the Revolutionary War, which we still don't figure out. Still don't know why they did, but they did. Um, Florida used to be Spaniard colony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they thought like, they were. They thought they were. How did, how, they the, they uh, didn't even fight in this war, and somehow they still lost land in this war. Maybe that's why. Maybe they were like, "I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm leaving." <laughs> It was either it was either Revolutionary War or the War of eighteen twelve. I think it was the War War of eighteen twelve because that treaty treaty was also in Paris. I may be mixing up my Paris treaties, but somehow Spain Spain did not get involved either in the war in both. Well, Spain did in the Revolutionary War, but it was like on the sidelines, like they were sending stuff, but they didn't actively get involved. During the Revolutionary War, because they hate they they just as much hated the British like the French did, but they wouldn't get involved like the French would. Yep, exactly. The French only they they waited to get involved until they knew that we might actually have a chance. Yep, <laughs> they weren't going to back a loser. <laughs> and and that, my friends, was history. U.S. history with that, that was your U.S. history lesson of the day. <laughs> that was your U.S. history lesson of the day. Just to remind you of your roots. <laughs> yep. And people if you're that, an American that, citizen, anyway. <laughs> if you're an American citizen, you're not, there's your U.S. To our history. history lesson for the day, for <laughs> the episode. If history. if you're from the U.K., I'm sorry that you had to go through it again. <laughs> I have a lot of British friends who, on July Fourth, will uh, will tell me. Uh, Happy uh, Rebellion Day or something like that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm like, really? Brexit? <laughs> That's awesome. At least they're telling you what they feel. So It's a joke with us, really. But yeah, they just see us as like rebellious teenagers. Because anytime we talk about all of our old stuff, they're like, you're cute. <laughs> and somehow we outpace them now. Oh, I don't know. Are, there, there, there are people out there that are like, you know why we don't have free health care? Because yeah. it's the military planes flying over us. There's our free health care right there. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. 
and I'm all for it. <laughs> but I'm not going to go into politics because that's As not part say, of the show. I can't. I can't talk about free healthcare versus not free healthcare because I'm in the middle of it, and there is no good answer. I'm going to say no. that there's no good answer. None. Zero. But I guess we should probably get back to Fallout. Yeah. It's a, definitely a very long topic. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to talk about Bring that back on my this migraine. Show. <laughs> because I'm getting a headache also just thinking about it. Right? So much stuff. <laughs> so Fallout. What do you oh, not no. want to see? Hmm. We covered some mechanics that we don't want to see. Some creatures. How about some NPCs? Besides, oh, the, um, okay, so I like traveling merchants because, you, you know, I like the random encounters. Yeah, no, random encounters are fine. Um, Those are fine. Uh, I, I don't think I want another Preston Garvey. No, no. I don't want, I mean, I don't mind building settlements. That's cool, but I don't want I somebody love the building constantly telling when, me. When came to fall out for. But you know what I like? Okay, so. Building settlements in Fallout 4 was cool. Building camps in Fallout 76 is really cool because you can basically build wherever you want. No, not I just that Yeah, not just game. where Fallout 4 tells you you have to build a settlement. So that was the one thing about Fallout 4. It was like you couldn't build anywhere without a mod. And there were some cool places that I was like, man, I wish I could build here. That would yeah, be neat. like like um and then, like on the island, a lot of that you couldn't build because of all the trees that you couldn't but, take But, away. I mean, it was an area that you could build on. Yeah, yeah, you could build like, on it, but... It was just, like, some unbuildable like... areas, but you could build on it. But, I mean, like, some places in the game, and I can't off the top of my head think of any right now because it's been I mean, so long. Some of those satellites were, would, would, would have been cool to build on. Yeah, like, places like that where, you know, it just, they didn't, like... So, like, even, like, outside a sanctuary on all that water, like, yeah. if you wanted to build on the other side of that water, but you couldn't. No, you could Like, that little island where they had, like, the camper. The, the that island somebody was half in, in, half out, and it was, like, there's not enough space to build here. Cause yeah, I would, because, I would've, like, I would've put, I would've your put my, uh, yeah, Well, your build circle ends, like, right behind the houses. You can't well, even no. go near the water down there. Well, no. If you go by the bridge... You can go to get to the water that way. Right. Yeah, because I built because you can build like your water purifiers on the on the other side of the bridge, on like the river side, but on like the lake side where that little island is, you can't like you're because I had a hard oh, time okay. putting my mm -hmm. walled city up because right behind those houses, you're like where that fence the There's bushes, whatever. Nothing there. Because that's where your your camp circle or whatever, your build circle ends. Because I had a hard time, like, finishing my wall. Because I wanted to do it outside like, the yes. bushes. But I couldn't because my little build circle wouldn't allow me to place a wall. And I was like, I don't want to build it inside. And, you know, keep the, the bushes there to make it more, you know, natural looking for the inhabitants. But whatever. Yeah, somehow my wall would end up, like, with this much of a gap. Uh-huh. Yeah, that too. Where I'm like, come on, man. So like better building mechanics would be nice. Like I don't want to see crazy building mechanics, like crazy, wacky, unbuildable uh mechanics if we have building. Which I hope I hope we have building. I, I hope they discontinue they continue the um the whole thing with building because ever since they brought it into Fallout 4, it's been a staple. Mm -hmm. a, a new a new thing that we come to expect with, with the Fallout games well, after it's Fallout like 4. It's, it's a it whole, was so cool. good. Yeah, and it's a whole, like people play the game just to build in some cases. Like literally, some people like they only go in there so they can build. They just like build the camps and build the shelters, and that's basically what they do. And they come up with some awesome stuff. I mean, there are some oh, no, people that build some crazy stuff and find new ways to to game the building system so they can make like. A UFO that is not attached to the ground. How did you do that? Because we're not supposed to have floating camps, you know, and things like that. But somehow they find a way to, to break the building rules to make it happen and they look stellar. Or they find some other way to make it look natural but still work within the system. But like like there's like a little twig holding it. Or like little or like a weird little way of doing like steps up to a 
like a where, where hot it air doesn't balloon or break something. where it doesn't break um mm -hmm. the immersion yeah like with, yeah or it does, yeah so it, it's it, it yeah it's immersive but it doesn't break the building rules so, i mean you still want to be able to capture the attention of the people that they're not really there for the game they're there for the building aspect because i'm not gonna lie i mean when i played fallout 4 i built probably 75 percent of the time i i uh i turned uh, the castle into a bona fide fortress i did too <laughs> i after i downloaded the the no end mod that's probably why my gr my game breaks half the time I now. I can't get into my satellite. game anymore because the castle was flipping amazing and sanctuary was huge and decked out. Oh, and oh, I, had a I whole... destroyed sanctuary and rebuilt. Did you? It. Oh, I I made it really nice. And then um, Nordhagen Beach is. This... I hated Nordhagen. After Beach, I did Nuka after. World, I basically made um, like. I don't know. It's 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 kind of like a Myrtle Beach deal, you know. It had like the boardwalk with all the games and restaurants and a hotel. Um, that was my Nordhagen Beach. It's like a family resort. I guess I like thing. the drive-in better as a building spot. You remember what I did at the drive-in? To be honest, the, the I think Starlight Drive-in. I I I did something really there. lame. I think this is one of my first settlements. I think I turned it into a prison. Oh, now I know when Connor played, he made that his vault. And I was like, no, my vault's going to be an 88, you know, and I was getting ready to do that when no, no I used the original I couldn't vault. get into it. I yeah. used the original vault. I, yeah. I'd go down periodically and just sit there in silence. Usually I'd I'd sit down there when when I'd have to use the bathroom. But the cool thing is, you know, but the, the thing is, I'm sure Fallout 5 will be another single player game because everybody. Oh, wants I'm sure. That. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. But the thing that I noticed about Starfield was that we have thousands of planets to look at and we can build all these amazing ships and we can build all of these um, really cool not camps, but whatever they're called on there, basically camps. Um, they're probably bases or whatever. Yeah, you know, the bases or whatever. But there's nobody to show it to. I guess 76 and should have kept to the single player and Starfield, the multiplayer game. Well, I feel like Starfield should have a multiplayer aspect because I think 76 kind of ruined that for us because now we just want to do everything with our friends and show everything to our friends. Well, I, well, I feel I, I, I see where you're coming from at that time, but I, at the same time, 76 ruined ruined multiplayer for Bethesda for Bethesda because we expect a whole lot more now that they've put in the NPCs are back in we're back But the back thing in. was was that the players surprised Bethesda because they thought that all the players were going to want one thing but then we all played opposite of what they expected us to oh, do. Oh yeah, they they expected all of us to fight each other to death and kill death. each other and not be and nice we to didn't. each other. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, there there were people that did. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, but that but, wasn't that wasn't the norm. The norm that, was that wasn't the majority. We of were us. helping each other. We were passing on. You know, somebody did us a favor, so we passed it on. You know, and you know, we helped each other survive the wasteland, and they were like, "What's happening?" <laughs> You know, yeah, they and, were half expecting us to launch, launch nukes all over the place. Right, they just expected us to just get on there and kill each other over and over and over and steal every, you know, whatever got dropped like all day long. And it's not what we do. It happens, but oh yeah, no, there are. Still I can't even tell you when the last time was I died because somebody killed me. It's probably something stupid. <laughs> well, I remember, and it probably was this last time, and that's been years now. I just remember one time. A guy was claiming a workshop and I was skirting across the edge of it, didn't even realize I was in the circle because it's the the Taylor County track. Oh so like there's yeah. the track. Uh-huh. But yeah, I was cutting through by where the shack is, which is like way off to the side. Yeah, I didn't even out realize that was included. Nowhere out, out of that that you yeah. know. I didn't even realize that was included. I was like cutting through where the shack was and he got me over there and I was like, I wasn't even in that, but I guess I was. I was like, okay, fair enough. But I'd been like, you know, scrounging for junk. So I dropped a lot of stuff. And it was before I had Fallout First. So of course, I couldn't just like drop my tent and do that before I got anywhere near, which is what I would do now. 
but I'm pretty sure that's the last time I was killed. I and I've had people time. try, but if you don't do anything back, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. But this is not how we play. And I don't know. It's just like when you're in a big boss fight, you see somebody go down instead of like, ha, 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 and grabbing their junk. No, we go over and we'll like stem pack them or wait by their stuff to make sure that they get it. I don't know. We're just just crazy nice people. That's a lot of the a majority of the Fallout community. We just love playing. Mm -hmm. We don't. A lot of us, we don't care. Yeah, it, yeah. It's either that, and you know, if we're not helping each other, then most of us are just going about our day, and we don't really pay much attention, which is fine. Yeah, because... we're just surviving out in the wasteland. Right, it's everybody's just, like, just doing their much. thing. Yeah, and like my my goal is not to like run around and be like, "Ha ha, you died! I took your crap!" You know, it's not. Ha really ha, sucker! Yeah, it's like I have enough. Stuff. I mean, God I knows. I am. To deal with, man. I, I'm a hoarder, so I collect everything. I, I, I ran out of fertilizer the other day, and it shocked me <laughs> because I'm like, do I not pick that up? So I had to go on a little like search for fertilizer. I think it's because I sold some because I wanted caps. I had a little rich girl until she went. Around, she went shopping last night and got some, um, some new plans. Because people charge too much for them. So she's not not really rich anymore. <laughs> but I wanted them, so I paid for them. But, but I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I have it, I have accepted that Fallout 5 is going to be single player. I just hope that I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, definitely a photo mode. Really good photo mode. So yeah, that we can yeah, share all that um, stuff with people. Uh, GTA, GTA 4 and Starting in GTA 4, they had a really good photo mode. Where, where See, because we didn't pictures. have one in 4, and we got one in 76, and it's amazing. Yeah. I yeah, mean, considering... GTA, starting and then, in of GTA course, then they gave four, us and then five. Starfield, and it was like, what the heck is that? You know, it's not near as good as 76's, but I guess they've enhanced it since then. i got to go in there and play with it. So, that was interesting. It was like, why did we go backwards? <laughs> um... I don't know. I mean, I really can't say what I don't want, mainly because I just, I like the game so much that I'm like pretty much okay with whatever. Well, like, yeah, yeah. yeah I, feel, I feel like that's 85% of the community is, yeah. is fine. After we got through the, the pit excursions, which sunk everything. Well, uh, and I'm hoping that the you know bethesda learned from that you know like i feel like they did though with the maybe with they the thought Atlantic oh we'll City. enjoy going back to the pit and then they found out that oh we're just like children we have expectations and you know when we don't well, have those yeah, expectations yeah, met like, then our, our feelings get hurt more. you know yeah, and like, so the best way to to deal with not disappointing is just don't you know try and live up to expectations so just don't put yourself out for that. So th that just makes more sense. So as long as Bethesda is willing to listen to the feedback from the community and act on it, which they've always seemed to be, then I think that it'll be fine. Hmm. It's just kind of like, you know, what, uh, what they say in, in the show where it's like, Everybody wants to save the world, but they can't agree on how. Yeah, Everybody wants that, to make that's like one of those profane quotes on that like, sticks with you. Yeah, when you think about it after the fact, after he says it, and and you think about it, well, like, it's true of the world today too. I mean, yeah, no, you're right. Absolutely, today people want to save it, but we can't decide on how to do it. Right. Nobody can agree on the best way to do anything. Yep. You know, like we were talking about healthcare, you know, it needs fixing, but nobody can agree on how. So it's not going to get fixed. And that money is <laughs> going to our mil the United States military. Well, or other people's militaries. <laughs> yeah, or other people's militaries that we're helping. Yeah. <laughs> but we're no. not going to go there because we are a fallout team. We are a fallout no, show and not we political. Don't wanna, we don't want to be a political show because that's just. No, uh, I don't want those people. No. <laughs> Don't send us emails about that stuff. Please don't send us emails I'm about not, that. We will I'm not going you. to engage. <laughs> I have learned I don't talk about 
sex, I don't talk about politics, and I don't talk about religion. <laughs> if you send any of that to our Twitter, we will block you. Uh, I mean, I'll block you, but I will definitely not engage. I'll maybe be like, thank you for your thoughts, and that'll be it. <laughs> I get that a lot on my personal Twitter now. Oh, I don't. It's weird, and, and I have barely nobody as but friends. Have, but I have noticed, so... I have noticed that. So, like, the Fallout 5.0, they tweeted about a wedding that they did in-game. Yeah, I did and, see that. That was actually pretty cool. Right. But, you know, the ad that was in there for me was for wedding cakes. <laughs> and then, what was it today? <laughs> today, somebody was talking about something, and sure enough, the ad was for whatever that was. And I was like, oh, my God, Elon Get out of my DMs. Get out of like get out of my Twitter feed. So yeah, no, right, right now. Right and there's now, way too I much advertising to on, on Twitter now anyway. Get off this lap. I'm looking to get off this laptop and onto a uh so uh, Well onto, now that you've declared it, you're gonna get nothing but ads for computers. So Yes, worry. no. <laughs> exactly. I've also been you're looking at better recording software. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for re- better recording software for for the for the podcast, just and, and now gato. all I get is ads for it. Just say El Gato, and you'll get you'll get all that. Ads. Yeah, no, they're no, having a I'm sale right El now. Gato. I guess so. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it's a big sale right now, and I'm I'm very tempted to get. And in, they have all that stuff. I'm tempted to get a faceplate for the fall the Fallout faceplate before they sell out again. Only fifteen bucks. Yeah, El Gato's got some great stuff though. They do. They got some great stuff. Uh, I'm looking because right now, right now. So, so for everyone that don't know, I I'm basically Harry Potter. I didn't know that. I'm basically oh because Harry you live Potter. under the stairs. I get yeah because I live underneath the stairs. That this is where <laughs> I record underneath the stairs. I didn't know that. So right now, right now, uh, I'm looking. I I'm probably still going to be underneath the stairs, but I'm looking. I need to, to get your address so I can send everything to you to the boy who lives under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so no, whatever. So what I'm trying to do is upgrade everything. So I actually have monitors because right now I'm recording on a laptop. Right now, I'm recording well, on a it laptop. Does <laughs> it does the job. It does the job. It's 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 bona fide gaming laptop. Where I'm like, if if they got specs for this. For high high games, I can podcast on this thing easily. I mean, That's I've seen why people I got do it. worse with le- you know, yeah. So, yeah, it, it, mm-hmm. it, it helps having a better webcam that that I have now compared to the because before I used to use the camera in, on on the laptop, and that's why I was fuzzy Ooh, all really the bad. time. Yeah, yeah. Laptop cameras are never any good. Would you like to see? No, I remember. Yeah, Don't it's on our. It. If if you guys do want to see, you can go to our YouTube channel, the Fallout Roundtable. Watch past episodes. Watch past <laughs> episodes, and then you'll see. I don't know why. though. Usually, it just says Maverick on a big black screen, so that's probably that 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 time in why? in the podcast. I was that was when I was not here. I was probably well, in you were Illinois. driving then too. Because nobody Illinois. wanted to see your crotch shots. I remember you talking about yeah, that. Yeah, no one wanted to see my crotch shots. Or um, or I didn't have enough uh, signal to actually... Like when or, you, you know, I... Rest in peaches. I have my Red Bull. I, so my, the, my son got me turned on to this. It's like iced tea agave vitamins... But it's water. Oh, this is iced tea. But um, there's some that are that's water. It says, "Murder your thirst." This psychotic can of iced tea will use agave and B vitamins to save, oh, to savagely murder your thirst and turn its insides into balloon animals to book gigs at children's birthday parties. Well, hell. Yeah, that sounds like the website. No, for... should have drank that. <laughs> it, it it sounds like the. The website for Cars Against Humanity. I it love does. going on their website. So what? there's a guy on... I spend way too much time on Instagram. There's a guy on Instagram that plays Cards Against Humanity with his cat. Like the oh, cat will sit there and he lays the, the, the cards out. Cat. And the cat will just tap a card and You're then like, he'll read bah. it. Yeah. Like, oh my god, don't do that. Pretty funny. <laughs> like, really? 
I'm like, I wonder if my dog would do that. Where is she? The the one that's the cat that's wearing the glasses and then baps up the card. Have you seen the ones with the animals that have the buttons, the talk buttons? Yes. Those are hilarious. Especially the one where they taught their dog, how, dog to to press, how to press the, the, the square button. Yes. Marmory's like, bitch, 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 bitch. bitch <laughs> but bitch. he only does it to the dad. <laughs> he doesn't do it to the mom. He only does it like, to the dad. Like, like, get me water, <laughs> bitch. They're both doctors. This is so funny. Um, they're both doctors and the the woman trained the dog and she gave him the white button, the bitch button. And he the dog only does it when talking to the dad. The, yeah. the, doesn't do it to her, which is so funny. He's like, no, bitch. <laughs> like, she she walks back over and, and does it and then goes back. Thinking so thinking weird. she'll get a different. They even result. took the button away from her and she brought it back. <laughs> well anyway we're getting way off topic we didn't really here. sidetrack we started talking about dogs on instagram but that was hilarious well anyway i think it's time to end the show here yeah uh yeah. <laughs> so so yeah if you have any any thoughts or if you're offended by what we said about what please share you unless please share <laughs> please share unless unless you don't want to and then then don't share and just hold it up inside of you Oh, like just I for fun, get it out, get it off your chest, and yes, see how it you, feels. You can, you can go <laughs> and you can tell us what you think about our opinions at at follow RTB on Twitter. Just just be, nice. Just don't be, be nice. nice. Don't 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 be evil don't, like, about try it. Try to hurt my feelings and make me and cry. Don't don't make us turn into a sad pile of goop. Yeah. We make us like to cry for pile. happy reasons. We don't like to cry. Yeah, make us reasons. cry. Make us a happy pile of goop. Yes. Not a sad pile of goop. Exactly. I should put that on a t-shirt. Too much of that. We, there's a lot. We got to get together and talk about what we got to put on t-shirts. Because I, I, we should do. We've got to get that going. Like gorilla style. Gorilla style. That's an old one. That's that was like that was like one of the first episodes where we were like we gotta put it on a t-shirt and I I don't even remember I should have been uh, how to pronounce Silior. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I still think it should be like a T Rex or something. How to pronounce Silior? That probably name. only makes sense if you live in Chicago and you know that Sue the T Rex lives yeah. at the Museum of Natural History. So. <laughs> There, there are a couple other ones I can't remember. But anyway, uh, so next next week, as we announced, be way probably probably last week in the beginning of this show, uh, that we are unveiling our summer bracket next week. It'll be a full episode. We will be dis- we will be unveiling sixty two. Yeah, hey, maybe I'll live tweet that too. Maybe I'll start live tweeting the choices. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, if we remember, uh, maybe I'll write it down. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Maybe I'll write it down too. Maybe I'll put a reminder down. Live to tweet choice, but 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 to everyone's credit, I to be fair. I, it is I, a week from now. <laughs> that is a week from now. We'll probably forget between now and then because we all have full time jobs. What but we I don't wrote do it this down. I will remember. <laughs> just stick the sticky note on the under the monitor. I, I usually do. I have to stick them directly to the computer. So then I'll look at it for the next week and go, what is that? There's Why did I write on that? On my monitor. Why did I write that? Right above my delete button. So it'll it'll be in the way. So it'll be noticed. <laughs> well, if you have any ideas of who's who's it, which NPCs will be on our bracket. <laughs> You can start tweeting us stuff, yeah. you know. Start telling us who you want to see. Who who you in think will be somebody. in the 2024 edition of the NPC Especially bracket. Especially if it's something random. You know, don't tell me dog meat because, you know, he's already there. Tell me well, something don't random. don't tell them that. Man. Oh, come on. If we leave dog meat off there, it's going to be hell to pay. You know, <laughs> it's just a gimme. Well, and. Anyway, well, uh, and then okay. So, are you going to mention that it's going to be like a takeoff of, like, the winner of our very first bracket is going to be on there? Yeah. So this yeah. is like, this is like way back when, um, very first episode, three years ago, two, 
two years ago, two and a half. We'll, whatever. we'll do. It, it'll be three next Almost. February. Yeah. yeah. January. I always think it's fe- it's February. I know, but it's always January. Hold on. I've had to prove I, this to you five or six times now. Every time we talk about this. And you always, always know that February. I'm right. Like January 19th. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm, I'm up here already. Hold on. So I was working on trying to figure out. We are sorry about episode review episode three for all your eardrums. We don't know what's going on with it, but you know. Yeah, we, we, Sulia and I talked about it when we recorded episode six but it's not out yet so you guys won't hear it <laughs> yeah you won't hear that in we episode had some three audio issues we are trying to track down what the heck happened it's we, on youtube it's on you youtube it, on it YouTube. sounds fine on youtube you can yeah. go to our youtube right now right it's now just, uh, for some reason out. It's when out we on tried YouTube. to upload it to uh the podcast feeds uh, the Zetans got a hold of it and translated it to their language, but unfortunately, since we don't speak Zetan, Zetan, whatever, it just um, sounds like a pile of googly. We blood. can't and understand. I, it. I'm sorry for our head headphone users. Oh God, it, it, it'll <laughs> melt your brain. Yeah, fortunately, it, we were alerted early on about. Oh my God, what happened? Three to the days podcast? later, and it only lasted a minute. <laughs> Sixty nine people saw listened to it. Oh, so sorry for those nine people. 69. But we're working on getting it back out there. But um, in the meantime, it is on YouTube. It's on is YouTube. It? You no, can... actually, is it? I don't know. It is it on is. YouTube. Is it? Okay, because I thought up, I to, up to episode number six. Review episode six is on okay. YouTube. So yeah, episode six, everything's going strong. Um, Eric and I are getting ready to record episode seven. Um, we're getting towards the end, but it's. We're having a blast doing it. If you guys have any thoughts about it, let us know. I know some of them are long, which is good for you long drivers. Um, but we do go in depth. Very much so in depth. And we talk about a lot of our theories and like side, like connecting to this, that and whatever. So that's, that's, we, we get into it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we will call it a do. I have been Maverick, Maverick Stone, and this has been and Sassy Lady. Sassy Lata. We are all going to say good night or good morning or whenever you listen to this. Good night, good morning. Good evening. Good evening. And we'll see you next week at the unveiling of the 2024 NPC, NPC Deathmatch Tournament. Woo! Deathmatch. Woo! We'll see All you right. next week. Have a good night. Bye. This podcast is part of the Robots Radio Rocket Club, a program designed to help all podcasts reach their full potential. For information about joining the Robots Radio Rocket Club, check out robotsradio.net. Hi, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ariel. And we're the hosts of the Legend of Zelda Lorecast, a podcast about all things Legend of Zelda. From Errol to Zora. And all the fun things in between. If you're ready to dive deep and learn more about the Legend of Zelda lore and everything surrounding it, come join us on Legend of Zelda Lorecast. You can find us on Apple iTunes, Spotify, Google, or wherever else you get your podcasts. We hope to see you soon.